placing a server side OCO simple bracket trade on the Infinity AT charts is really easy. Let's take a look. I have a 10 minute candle for the mini NASDAQ March 2020 chart on the screen, volume profile on the left, I have point of control lines, and I have a uh, value area highlighted with these lines. I'm going to activate the trade area here. And the trade area is populated with information. And the first thing I want to do is look for my trade buttons up here on the upper right hand side. So I would like to actually sell a contract here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the sell button and it gives me a ticket, a trade ticket. I could either drag this ticket up for a limit order or drag the ticket below the market price for a stop order. Now the market price is highlighted by this dotted red line that's moving around here, 90, 32 and a quarter. I'm going to do a sell limit order. I'm going to place a sell limit order uh, up here, you know, closer to the point of control. And before I hit the sell button, I'm going to put an add auto exit stop. Add auto exit stop. And I'll place this up here somewhere. You know, above this peak as an example. And actually, I'd like my entry to be a little more conservative, so I'm going to wait and be patient. I'm going to drag it up here to 90, 55, and 3 quarters. Now I'm going to add a target, my profit target. It's called Add Auto Exit Limit. I'm going to add that. So now I have three legs of my trade. I'll drag this down a little bit more. I have three components of my trade. My limit entry order, my associated stop, my associated target. And we are going to go ahead and hit the sell button. It sends an order to the exchange. It, se it sends an order to the exchange, a limit order right here to sell at our desired price of 56, 56 and three, 55 and three quarters. And you can see it right there. Two child orders are surrounding this limit order that's at the exchange. And so once this order gets filled, this is an order triggers order, OTO, it will actually send then the bracket to the exchange. My stop will be sent and my target. And it will be sent as an OCO, order cancels order. And all the instructions for the OCO are housed resident server side. They're not client side their server side so you could log out log back in and not worry about this trade not surviving logging out or being disconnected to the internet so this would be a setup for going short with eventually with a stop and a target should we get filled now you could edit any of this information simply by clicking on the label and the ticket pops back up right we haven't been filled yet because my you know my my order is pretty far away from where the market actually is right now for demonstration purposes and I could simply drag this up and down if I wanted to change it. Same with the stop, same with the target. That's how I'd cancel and replace by hitting the replace button, any of those orders. And then lastly, if you did log in to the PC version of the software instead of the uh, iPhone version or uh, Apple version, uh, you could pull up a trading ladder. And this trading ladder will actually be 100% in sync with the orders that you placed on the chart. And there we see on the dome, uh, 52.75, which is, is, is our order entry right here, 52.75. And you could modify from the dome. Let's move it up to 53, and you can see it changed on the actual chart itself. And remember, the definition for OTO is order. This order triggers, once it's filled, order triggers these two orders and then OCO is order cancels order which means once these two orders are triggered and sent to the exchange once one of them gets filled the other one automatically gets canceled this will result in a net flat position and no working orders hope that helps